need to know how to change the bulbs in any of the headlight positions on your VW Polo 9N. If you do, come with me, let me show you how it's done. The headlight units contain four bulbs in total. There's a parking light or city light as it's uh, referred to I think in the US. There's a indicator, a dip beam bulb and a full beam bulb. I'll be showing you how to change all four. This is a 1.2 12 valve three cylinder petrol. Uh, as you can see access to the headlights is uh, very easy once you're uh, under the bonnet. Depending on which engine you've got, access may or may not be so easy. I do know that on the diesels, you need to remove the battery in order to get to the back of the left hand headlight. The main beam and parking light bulbs are behind this cover, which is towards the middle of the car. Now the parking light is very awkward. This purple and brown wire here that disappear to the holder are connected to it. The easiest way to get the light out is simply to pull gently on those and pull the light with it like so. This bulb simply pulls out of the holder and push in to replace with the new one. Now I find it a lot easier to put these bulbs back if you switch them on. Hold the uh, wires about an inch from the uh, bulb holder. Gently take the bulb holder into the cavity up towards the uh, top corner. And with the bulb on you can look through the front of the light, see the bulb and guide it into position. Then put your fingers in behind it, push it all the way home. Now, the main beam bulb is in the center. It has a single connection. Pull that connection off. The spring clip that holds the bulb in has a single little loop that you can get your finger on up in the top corner. Pull it towards the center of the car and release it and allow it to fold itself down and simply withdraw the bulb. Putting it back in, make sure that you've got the bulb the right way around with the cutout in the right place, which in this instance is towards the uh, bottom left hand corner as you're looking at it. Push the bulb into place, make sure it seats properly. Then lift the clip. Again, push it to the center of the car and into, the, and into its uh, little clip holder up there. Don't forget to replace the connection and put back the rubber cover. Now do watch the video all the way through. The dip beam bulbs and the indicator bulb on the left hand headlight are held in differently to how they're held in in the right hand headlight and I shall be showing you both. A word of warning about handling halogen bulbs. Do not touch the glass envelope with your fingers. Do not do that. There are two reasons. One, the greases and oils off your skin get onto the quartz, it's not glass but quartz, and that will react with the quartz at the high temperatures that the bulb operates at and can shorten its life and cause the envelope to burst. And two, I've seen people taking hold of bulbs like this and pulling the connector off. If you're holding this bulb tight by its quartz envelope, if that quartz envelope should break, you'll be getting tiny little bits of glass in your fingers and you'll be making a trip to A&E. <laughs> so safety first, never touch them. Always handle a fresh bulb by its base. On this right hand headlight there's a cover missing here which you would normally have to take off first. The indicator bulb is down at the bottom of here and the dipped beam bulb is up at the top. To get the dipped beam bulb out pull the connector off the back of the bulb and then on the uh, outer side of the headlight two legs of the little clip pull them push them in pull them to the center and back out and then the clip the clip will then fold out simply withdraw the bulb on the left hand side the dip beam bulb is behind this cover and on this left hand side the mechanism for taking the bulb out is completely different to that on the right hand side of the vehicle there's a tag there and similarly on this other side and you have to get a finger on each side and use those tags to rotate the bulb anti-clockwise. 
and the bulb withdraws straight out. Now to put the left hand bulb back in, orientate it with the flat and the tag upwards. I find it helpful to look at the bulb through the front lens as you're putting it back into place. Because you can see when you've got it seated squarely then. Rotate the bulb holder slightly clockwise. Put the connector back on. The indicator bulb is deep in the headlight there on the, the other end of this plastic blade. Now to get it out you need to twist this plastic blade anti-clockwise which is that way. The easiest way I found to do that with your finger and thumb reach in to just inside the headlight take hold and turn like so and then withdraw the holder. You need to get it past the uh, the wires and remember which way up it was. To change the bulb in its holder simply push in slightly turn anti-clockwise and withdraw and of course you put your replacement bulb back in the opposite way. Now making sure you put the bulb holder back in the same way up as it came out push the bulb into its holder if you look at the bulb through the front of the light it will help you get it seated squarely and once you're certain you've got it seated squarely simply rotate the bulb holder using the blade a little clockwise until it snaps into place on the left hand side the indicator bulb is behind this cover turn the cover to around about an eighth of a turn anti-clockwise and withdraw it there's also a blade in here that you get hold of twist anti-clockwise about an eighth of a turn and withdraw and there's your bulb exactly the same as the right hand side 